Right, welcome back everybody to another Sir James D. DJ video. Uh, I've gotten a lot of requests from people wanting to see what my 24-7 overclock settings are. Um, now that's kind of a tricky term because I don't run this thing 24 hours a day, but for things like tooling around the internet, um, you know, doing anything other than video encoding or gaming, I run a particular overclock, which is basically 4.1 gigahertz. And I'll just kind of take you through. Right now I've just got six gigs of the perfect storm in. And virtually all this is the same. You can see. That's disabled again. And RAID. Now here, I wanted to show this to you. Hard disk priority. If you get an error when you're booting up that says something like system boot failure, that means usually it means your priority is mixed up and you gotta go in here and change the order. Power management setup, got it at 64 bit again. And some people have said run that on PCI slot. I don't know why I would do anything with PCI Express. And then health says, okay, I'm going to get to why this is so low, okay? Because what I've been doing is, I'll show you in a second. You can see 214 is the ratio. I've been messing around with a really low V-Core, and it seems to be pretty darn stable. Now, what I had been doing with uh, 4.0 gigahertz, I had it jacked up to 1.38, and I was like, God, this should not be this high. So, the other night, I was just kind of goofing around and decided to drop it way down, and it's pretty damn stable, I'll have to say. I mean, I've gone through Cinebench, I've gone through Prime 95, and haven't had any blue screens at all. Um, I might be able to take it a little lower than that, actually. And uh, VTT, I've got it at 175 because it's 2000. If I dropped it down to 1866, I could probably get away with 150 or 125. And both of these I got at 1.425, and the QPI PLL is 1.275. And then auto auto again the 1.1 1 .1 here. 610, 1333. And then here I did the less and less. Okay. Everything here is the same, except I was able to get away with the 6.4 now. And I'm gonna show you why. Basically it's because every time I'm jacking this, the base clock, anytime that goes I don't know what the limit is, but it, as it gets higher, it becomes unstable unless you use the 4.8. So what I've found is keeping it nice and low, which is a, one of the beauties of this extreme processor, because I can put this multiplier at anything I want. So I'm able to keep the base clock nice and low and keep the 6.4 for the QPI bus. And then Uncore again is just two times the ratio. And basically that's it. Now, when I bump it up to, you know, 4.4 .4 or whatever, all I gotta do is just up this multiplier. And then I haven't really messed around with the voltages on, on that for the V core, but I'm assuming, and I know how dangerous assumptions are, but all I'm gonna have to do is raise that v-core a little bit I mean there's experts out there on you know overclockers.com that will probably know a lot more than me but I, I can't assume it would go a heck of a lot higher than that just to 4.4 so basically that's my my 24-7 overclock is 4.156 and then you see how fast it boots right into windows 
Yeah, this is going to be a good month coming up. Make sure you stay tuned, because I've got some really exciting things planned. Now, some people have asked questions, should this flower still be showing up? And, hey, I've got three Vertex Turbos in RAID 0, so <laughs> if mine shows up, then yours probably will too. All right, now I'm just going to get this out of the way. The gadget up here is called SysInfo, System Information, okay, up on the upper right. And then I've just got a eBay tracker. And this is called uh, a Life Desktop Theme. You know, all you got to do is go into Personalize get more themes online. Oh, no, that's that's turkey or some damn thing. But yeah, here's the life one that I had been using. And then to get more gadgets, here it is, system information. And all you got to do is get more gadgets online, get more desktop gadgets, And it's under Tools and Utilities. And it is right here. SysInfo System Information. Okay? All right, so thanks for watching my video. And if you're not a subscriber, feel free to do so. And once again, got really exciting stuff coming up. Um, yeah, I mean, if you want to check out my... I mean, it's sitting at... 17 right now and I'd been running some real temp GT and you know each core only got into the low 30s so at 4.1 gigahertz it's pretty damn good that's probably due to the VTT being a little jacked but yeah that one card in there man she looks lonely so we'll get her some friends <laughs> I said too much all right well, I'm going to take off now. So, this is Sir James D. DJ. Talk later.